What's up everybody, it's Robin Gaming here with the Uncharted 3 Top 10 Plays episode 18 and just to give you a quick little heads up, the next episode will be a subscriber episode so be sure to be subscribed to my channel and add your YouTube account in the description. Starting off in the Matania, we have Abkus Heim who's playing Team Deathmatch on London Streets, immediately kills two enemies in rapid succession with his Gmo, followed by a thrown grenade that does some more damage, and he finishes it off by killing the final three enemies on the team with his Gmo as well. Someone in his team notices the ownage that just happened and immediately becomes his fan, asks for a high five, and Abkus Heim is friendly enough to become his buddy. On to number 9 where we find a Game 4 playing Team Deathmatch on London Underground. He sees the whole team in the long corridor of the map, picks two of them off with his AK, throws a grenade with which he kills a third enemy as well. He then decides to get closer to the enemies. He almost gets killed by a grenade though, but he manages to climb up in the corridor and kills the fourth enemy with his RPG kickback. He then quickly seeks cover, kills the fifth enemy of the team with his AK again, and just at that time, the whole team already reappears in the corridor, but the Game 4 still manages to kill one of the enemies off before getting killed himself. The first special moment of this episode goes to Lil Big Linden who's playing Team Deathmatch on Chateau and look at this amazing Mag 5 headshot on the guy behind the turret while Lil Big Linden is on the zipline. On number 8 we find Nano Mafa playing Team Deathmatch on London Underground. He kills the first enemy with his M9 and he must have been a big fan of the Big 2 Crew tips and tricks videos because the way in which he applies the bank and boom method is just perfect. He kills two enemies with his grenade, shoots a fourth enemy which he kills as well and finally from the right side the final enemy pops up who also gets killed. At number 7 is XXMan969 who's playing Team Deathmatch on Desert Village. He tries to kill his first enemy with his Para 9 which he manages to succeed in, uses hammer to get a nice second kill via blind firing, a third enemy comes around the corner which XXMan hits with one shell, ultimately killing him with some nice Para 9 shots. He then jumps to the other platform, throws a random grenade while jumping and actually kills a fourth enemy with that, granting him a nice, very nice Hail Mary medal. Drops down, looks for a 5th enemy which he finds, kills him off with some more power 9 blind firing. A 6th enemy comes to kill him too and unfortunately suffers from a lot of lag which isn't in his favor of course. XX Man kills him, goes looking for some more enemies, he finds a 7th enemy within a short amount of time who he also kills with his Gmail. He then even sees an 8th enemy who he kills with some more hammer shells, finally leaving him behind with 8 kills in rapid succession. And number 6 is Giazzle20 playing on Chateau Team Deathmatch. He starts off by escaping from his enemy, kills him with his T bolt, gets a Rage Medal, which means he's on a 15 kill streak already. He turns around and kills a second enemy with his T bolt, uses his Mega Bomb to kill a third enemy, and finishes it off by killing the final two enemies with some more nice T bolt shots. I'm also happy to inform you he managed to get his Rampant Medal in less than a minute after as well. The second special moment goes to Griff Reaper 99 who is in a fight with three enemies on Graveyard. One of his enemies decides to throw a grenade at him which Griff Reaper throws back only to find out his three enemies were running to the exact same spot where the grenade landed giving him three heal dismantles. At number 5 we find the real Cornholio who looks like he's gonna lose his three team deathmatch on Syria. He avoids the gunfire from his enemy who then drops down but loses the fight. A second enemy comes around the corner who the real Cornholio kills which means he's just activated the overtime. He uses RPG kickback to kill another enemy who tries to get him and he's so proud of what he did so far which he shows by taunting but trust me he's gonna be even prouder. He sees his old cutter skin enemy returning who he kills again for the connect 4. He now already has a 3 point lead where his enemies used to have the lead a few seconds ago. Runs up the platform where he finds a 5th Helgus enemy on top of the platform where he kills as well for the streak medal. He then drops down with his power 9 to find and kill a 6th enemy already which causes his team to have a 5 point lead. He hears another enemy with a Cal 7 coming at him where he kills with some more power 9 blind firing action. A second enemy comes at him as well but the real Cornholio kills that guy too. And the final uh, 10 seconds of the match have started now. The real Cornholio rolls and picks up the Carl 7 and kills the final enemy with his own weapon, the ultimate humiliation for 9 kills in total, and wins the match with an incredible 8 points difference.
At number 4 is Kamikaze playing team deathmatch on 4th with a sash shotgun. He sees his first enemy, skeleton enemy behind cover, tries to kill him, rolls away from all the gunfire, still manages to get his first shotgun kill there on the skeleton enemy but goes behind cover to regenerate his health. The second Genghis Khan enemy comes at him who Kamikaze easily kills with the shotgun, goes back behind cover to distract his enemy and then decides it's over for them. He runs up to all of his enemies of the other team, kills the first one with one rapid shotgun blast and reaches the spawn where he confronts 3 enemies, 2 of which he kills with his shotgun and the last one who he tries to kill with his power 9 but then decides it would be more fun to make use of his RPG kickback and he finally decides to draw out his dragon sniper to kill the final enemy or hell the king. The third and final special moment goes to Jab007 who manages to get two dragon sniper meta headshots on two of his enemies all within just a few seconds. At number 3 is Wadi177, winner of my free fall tournament and a common appearance in these top 10 videos, who is playing team deathmatch on London Underground with his T-Bolt. He gets a first quick T-Bolt kill there on an enemy, followed by a grenade which he throws back to get a second kill. He then runs up to the end of the famous corridor to kick off one of the other enemies, drops down with his Mag 5, tries to get a blind fire kill but finishes it off with a nice punch, reaches out for his T-Bolt again, gets a nice quick scope kill, does his taunt out of happiness and then climbs up to get his final no scope kill. At number 2 is Manip, who brings kill feats to a whole new level in the Uncharted 3 multiplayer. He manages to get 5 kills in very rapid succession with his M9, afterwards pulling out his T-Bolt, and he does the same thing again with that weapon to get his Fury Medal. Just look at it, it needs no describing, it's awesome. Congratulations to K OMG Luke K for winning last week's You Decide moment with his awesome T bolt kill, and congratulations to Chris96 for getting the winning comment. For this week's You Decide moment, it's Guy Leon vs Tabasco Bros24, both with an awesome no scope kill, so don't forget to leave your comment on who should win in the comment section down below, and maybe you get picked as the winning comment. For the number one spot I want to congratulate Las Basnas. The awesome thing is the same guy also got the number one spot in episode 16, so just two episodes ago. That time he did some awesome no scoping and quick scoping. Well this time he basically does it again, but maybe even better. He's playing team deathmatch on airstrip. You've already seen him getting one kill with his T-Bolt and one by a deadly punch. He drops down below, kills a third Draza skin enemy, sees another guy by the turret, who he manages to kill for the connect for. A fifth enemy is below him who he rapidly kills with his T-Bolt as well. He jumps to the container right ahead of him and pulls out his Dragon Sniper to kill the same Draza enemy again, afterwards killing two more different Talbot skin enemies too with multiple shots from his Dragon. Fast forward 40 seconds later where he acquired yet another T-Bolt. He kills that old Draza enemy again and now decides to go on an absolute rampage but not before he does his amazing taunt of course. He sees another enemy who he tries to kill but he sees he's not going to be able to do it that way so he drops down and gets some awesome no scope kill on the green skeleton enemy. He goes and looks for some more enemies and finds the Draza enemy yet again who he of course manages to destroy with his kills. The green skeleton enemy just spawns and immediately gets killed by him. He kills off another Talbot enemy, runs and picks up his well earned treasure afterwards. So he pulls out his Dragon Sniper where he, yes, killed Draza once more, plus the Green Skeleton and the Talbot enemy by a kickback T-Bolt quickscope kill. The only thing that this clip lacked pretty much was a final Draza kill, but he does manage to kill the last Talbot enemy with his T-Bolt. So that was it for the top 10 plays episode 18. If you didn't make it, don't forget there's always a next time. Please remember that episode 19 is a subscriber episode, so don't forget to include your YouTube accounts. And then I hope to see you next time in one of my videos.